YouTube, what's up, man? Gameplay Weekend League. And the best news this week is we've got the two cards we have been asking for the most. That Terrell Owens and that Sean Taylor. Added them both to my team. Let's take a look at what the team is working with now, man. If you guys ever want to watch me play live or anything like that, please hit those links to, to my Twitch. You can watch me every night. I play a little bit of Madden. Uh, also, follow the social medias. I'm pretty sure you guys are already following. But here is the card, Sean Taylor. These are the abilities I'm rocking on him. Um, Acrobat, Enforcer, Lurker, and Universal. The Lurker Acrobat combination is really good, but it's also detrimental sometimes, and you will see that in this gameplay. Uh, he's a dog. Sean Taylor obviously made one of the biggest plays of my life to help he's me win the belt. The uh, so he will always be on my team. If he's in the game, he's on my team. That's pretty much how it works. We have Dawkins, Calvin, Taylor Mays, uh, Pat Pete. Jalen Ramsey, Ronnie Lott, Night Train. I mean, anybody you could think of, we have on the team. Pretty, that's that's how it goes. But I'm excited because Sean Taylor, Taylor Mays, Brian Dawkins, Calvin Johnson. Those four guys right there. Uh, anytime you got Brian Dawkins and Sean Taylor in the back end of your defense, defense is going to be pretty good. Offense, we got the Terrell Owens card. We're going to activate him. Let's take a look at the card. We're going to compare him, see what his numbers are. You know, this time of year. 99 everything route running doesn't matter <laughs> 99 speed 99 jump 99 catch 99 catch traffic 99 spec catch he's 6'3 he's terrell owens uh i'll take a look at the abilities that i use on my wide receivers in this tray wide flex um streak specialist post flag elite wide receiver apprentice and cross specialist that's what i use both on huli Manduli, and teal so those are my two receivers i activated so let's get into this gameplay all right, boys, so we're going to get the ball first here. This is early in weekend league. Um, playing the Dolphins. Dolphins jerseys, I give them about a 3 out of 10 for being good at the game. Uh, eh, judging them, eh, not impressed. Not impressed early in the game. But the first play, we're going to have nothing to go to. We're going to throw the ball away. Uh, this game I, will be the number one reason why I tell you guys, watch out with the quarterback. I tell you, whoop, whoop, just watch out right here. That should have been a touchdown. He actually tackled so bad that it was good for him. He clicked on, missed the hit stick, uh, and <laughs> he actually made the tackle because he missed the hit stick. But we're moving the ball down the field perfectly. This game is probably the most effortlessly I will move the ball in any video highlight that you guys watch. But we will put the ball on the ground a lot. And the greatest equalizer in football is turnovers simple and plain and that, that's just what is what's going to happen and michael vick, for some reason i mean i just feel like you know, if michael vick gets touched he fumbles the ball doesn't really matter if it's a tough t hit enforcer uh, a regular player a tackle from behind as uh, long as he's crossed the line as my man uh julio right there didn't go for the ball but eh, that's okay we get it again that's what i always say don't worry about it we'll go back to the next play we get it again and here goes vick with a little scramble get out of the way just trying to make a play I tried an enforcer, and we tried an enforcer the first play. Uh, and here goes Dunlap getting up out of there. Dunlap is going to get the booty pants real quick when a T lineman gets uh, tired. They get the booty pants and they can't run. So he got the booty pants real late in that run. So he did not score a touchdown. Should do a pick right there. Taylor Mays did not want it. Uh, he swatted the ball. I never used the play ball or the play uh, aggressive uh, swat the ball, play the ball. I never used that. Maybe if I was on play ball, he would have caught that pick. But he did it, and right here, he playmakers the running back up and gets a touchdown. So I'm down 7 0. But like I tell you guys all the time, man, we've been down before. We can fight through this. It's not that big a deal, 7 0. Uh, like I said, his, his defense pretty much just one of those nickel over G guys or 2 4 5 nickel, just rush four. He'll spy one person. Uh, he does have some edge threats, I believe, or at least a D tackle chem. If you're going to do this, make sure you have a pass rush chem. Uh, right here, he's only rushing two people. I'll tell you. Rushing two people really never is the plan, but right there he gets a sack. Nowhere to go to right there. I get to a third and six. We're just going to go ahead and dump this off the mall. Slow down, sidestep, get that first down. Sometimes, you know, the, the moving in the open field is not about a big play, which we get right here with Brian Westbrook. But use that stop and go. Use that change of direction to get first downs, to get five yards when there was only two. Right there, Westbrook gets about 70 on backup running back going 800, or going what, like 60 yards. He's only 97 speed. I'm waiting for that new Brian Westbrook. That's one of the cards I hope they get an upgrade soon. And Pat Pete just got smoked by Randy Moss. Now, I'll tell you, if a receiver has an X under their feet, be careful when you press them. That's what I did right there. I pressed Randy Moss, and 
he took me to the crib. And uh, be careful when you press the guys with, with X's under feet. If they don't have X under feet, press away. Go ahead and press them into the ground uh, because they're not going to get off the press. But if they have an X, that streak specialist, yeah, it's going to be tough to press them. You got to watch over the top. Corner route right here. Boom. Who? Jones, Huli, Manduli, uh, as you guys know, this game, honestly, I will probably get double me 40 times in this game. Double me is is super patched. I swear it just doesn't work. Throw another corner out here. Uh, Huli, Manduli right there. Getting inside the 15-yard line. We're looking for the streak. We're looking for the hitch. Uh, but we get a little bit of pressure. Get up out of the pocket. Come back the other way. Get sacked, but then get hit stick forward. I was like on the, the precipice is a great word. The precipice of the line of scrimmage, and uh, that eventually the broken sack brought me past the precipice of where I can fumble, and I did fumble. So that's two. That's two. Keep keep count those at home. Keep count. Keep count of the fumbles. We're on two with Michael Vick. Uh, and Pat Pete is getting smoked again. That time I pressed, I was in two man under that golden ticket. Brian Dawkins over the top. Actually, a great touch pass. I mean, I'm be honest. He put that in perfect spot. I believe this guy's quarterback, Josh Allen, put that in perfect spot. Here we go with a little running back out route. Bo Jackson, just I mean, please tackle him, please. Uh, so it's 14 to seven. We're down by seven. Got to make some plays. And right here we get a huge sack right there from uh, Mr. Shazier. Shazier and Patrick Willis are my middle linebackers. And right there. I don't want that pick, but we'll take it in completion 30 19, and he dumps it off to the running back and gets the first down. So, a uh, big third down conversion right there from him. This time, he tries to sneak the running back out in the other flat. We're all over it. Uh, just can't give up a touchdown, man. We're already down. We're already down by seven. Can't give up a touchdown. Sack right there by Anthony Barr. I don't have any timeouts. I can't really get the ball back. He does a good job of not. Uh, waste, not going in completion, not hurrying up, making sure this was the last drive of the half. Takes his three, goes up by 10. And, you know, honestly, that I'm not feeling good. I'm kicking the ball off to Devin Hester. And pay attention to these kickoffs. I'm blasting the hell out of him. I, and and I, I don't think you guys have ever seen me get a fumble in one of these videos, ever. I don't think it's ever happened. It's ever, never happened. I don't know. I just, I think I'm cursed. I think I'm cursed uh, from getting fumbles. And right here, he rolls out. Playmakers up. Moss. Woo, he throws the ball. I don't believe, see, that's dashing or roaming, and that's complete. But he overthrows it, gets him to a third and 10 right here, and he just throws in the coverage. Picked off. Night train lane in the slot. That's a vert hook that picked off that route right there. Um, going for the corner right here. Don't get the anime. He gets a picked off animation, but falls out of bounds. That's the beauty of always attacking the sidelines. Vic then fumble. Hold on. Pause the video. Vic then fumble. But that's the beauty of attacking the sideline that even if you throw some picks, a lot of times they won't get their feet in bounds as we hit the crossing route right there to get a first down. They won't get their feet in bounds. So you can kind of get away with some picks. And isn't that great when we get away with picks? I mean, if you know, if you throw to the middle of the field, you're not getting away with much. But if you throw to the sideline, boy, you can get away with a lot of picks. And right here, Vic, are we going to fumble? Are we going to get out of bounds? Once again, if you're running by the sideline, if you fumble, it will go out of bounds. Uh, third and goal right here. Third on the sixth. Nothing, nowhere to go. I get shedded around the edge. Got to take our field goal here. Got to get a possession back. We are down by two. Kick this three. Get our possession back. We'll be feeling good going into this drive. I just can't give up any more points. I'll be able to score. The only reason I don't have more points is because Vic has put the ball on the ground and we blasted the kicker, the kickoff. Again, we blasted it. Nope. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. Please comment if I ever get a fumble. Let me know. W got a fumble. I, I don't see it. And W should get an interception right here. But, you know, we don't need it. We will get it again. That's what I tell myself. Uh, blitz everybody right there. And he throws the snap throw running back. And there goes Bo. Running to the end zone. Snap throw running back angle. Um, my fault. I went for the pick, uh, and because I went for the pick, if you guys know, I use Acrobat. As I showed you before the game, I use Acrobat, and I use Lurker on my safety. So he'll get an animation behind him, and he wasn't able to tackle him. If I just tackle him, that's a two-yard gain. Instead, it goes crib. I'm down by 14, going late into the third quarter. There's that corner route again, and my wide receiver is going to be blinking. Julio Jones, uh, I mean... I don't know how to use double me. I don't. I feel like it. I feel like early in the year it was so tough. Here I'm gonna try it. Now it is like quarters, so I want to say that might have been a double team. I don't know, but I, I haven't completed a double me. I, I can't remember the last time I completed a double me in route right there. Holy Mondoli, first down. Uh, we're at the 31 yard line. Last play of the third quarter. We're gonna scramble. We're gonna take and 
I mean, yeah, I mean, th this is why this is a YouTube video. It's my fault. I mean, I be getting crazy, but that's why they watch, and that's why we make highlights. Right there, he honestly clicked off Taylor Mays at the last second, and Sean said, but like, he was on Taylor Mays, and I was like, I don't got to worry about him. And the last second he clicked off, honestly, he probably did it by accident, but it was a good job tackling, confused me a little bit, and I wound up getting hit. But we get the three and out. We get the punt. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. Uh, we got to work some magic. We have three timeouts. That counts as a possession. We need. We got the two-minute warning to stop the clock. Got to make some plays and got to make them fast and throwing the ball out of bounds. Just save some time. Just save some time here. We get the rollout. We're going to kill. We've been killing this guy with this rollout corner. He has no contain. He has no blitz. He's not blitzing. It's super easy to roll out. We're going to do it again. Uh, the corner route, boom, right there. Uh, who's that? T.O.? I have T.O. activated on this team, I believe. Yeah, that's who it is. In route right there, Terrell Owens, boom, just eating, eating, eating. And just like that, I mean, we're right down inside the 20-yard line. Boom, post route, touchdown. Uh, who was that? Hooli, Mondooli, another touchdown. So we're down by seven. That was fast. What was that? 20 seconds, 41 seconds we scored a touchdown. We have three timeouts. Need a three and out right here. 30-second uh, play clock. We're going to stop him. A little dive right here. Sean Taylor looking for a hit stick, but he gets wrapped up right there by Bullock. Uh, second down, second and seven. He's actually going to go to a, a little quick pass right here. We cover it, and Pat Pete could have made up for all the times he got smoked, but just can't come up with the pass. And right here, I'm setting up my defense. Third and long, I want to send the crib. I don't get it set up. I get an Ask Madden defense, so I call my timeout. I think wasting a timeout was worth it there because if I get off the field, he will punt. I need to get off the field. So wasting that timeout, was I felt, was worth it. Some people might not have, but I didn't want Madden to call my defense. I want to make sure I come out on the right defense. I want to run Bear here. Bear has been one of the more popular Blitz Everybody defenses. I'm going to send everybody at him, including probably the outside corner. I'll put a purple zone on the right. I'm going to press Randy Moss. I told you, don't worry about pressing Randy Moss. It's a little scary, but he sends out everybody and just got to absolutely scream that you have no shot sending out four or five against Bear. So we get the punt. We got one timeout. We got a minute four left, but you really don't need that much time when you got Dion. Because Dion is a Baja away from taking a tie in this game, getting ready for overtime, just like, but we don't get there. But we're at midfield. Midfield feels good. Plenty of time. We got a timeout. Looking for the corner route, but we'll hit the in route back over the middle. That's my fault. Got a possession catch. I went for a rack, a little bit greedy right there. We roll out again, hit the corner route. Now, this play is a little bit different. He's going to adjust. He's going to make an adjustment by blitzing the slot to stop me from rolling out. And I make an adjustment mid-play. By seeing that, staying in the pocket, let my running back help me out. Watch. Slide to the left, get that block, then roll out, hit X. So it's easy to see this stuff before the snap and know what you're going to do before the snap. But you got to be able to react after that snap in a split second and execute the play. We execute the blast, get in the end zone. 23 seconds left. Uh, no big plays. No Bo Jackson. Keep Bo Jackson under contained. Please, no Bo Jackson. That's all I ask cover everything right here we're going to send the spy we're going to get the sack and he the he calls a timeout here now he's in a danger zone right now now what he does good here as he takes a sack is he doesn't call another timeout because he knows if he calls another timeout i'm going to force him to punt eventually doesn't call a timeout uh and that's going to be the end of regulation so we fought back down 14 with two minutes and 21 seconds left now we're in overtime a lot of people ask, why didn't you go for two there? Uh, a lot of times when you go for two, it's because you really don't like your chances in overtime. Me, I love my chances in overtime. This guy hasn't sniffed the stop. If I fumble, if I slide, this get, we're already in the next game, honestly. But we get a little greedy. We do a little bit too much. We underestimate these linebackers and the speed of the D linemen. And Vic fumbles. It's what makes it fun. You know, it's a double-edged sword, baby. Vic is the best player on the field, and he's the worst player on my offense, without a doubt. Westbrook right there almost got super sticky right there with B. West. Um, and we're going to put Walter Payton back. Now, as you see, I've been killing him with the post route, the corner route. I've just been doing what I want. We have double me again. We're going to go to the double me for the win. That kind of looked like a double team. I'll be honest. I don't expect to catch that, but maybe. Why not? Uh, we're going to run again, get this first down on a nice little third and six, Walter Payton. Literally, I'm doing whatever I want on his defense. Uh, this is a video of what not to do on defense. Um, the biggest thing I can say about this, I mean, you just have to be a little different. 
you know every if every snap is the same thing i mean you're gonna let somebody get a rhythm right here he's a little different and guess what vic fumbles boom but my man joe Thune picking the ball up uh being on the spot i finally recovered my own fumble because it was a little different there in route boom randy moss or that's Juli mandali again this time hit the flats excuse me miss we're in the end zone ggs in the chat ggs below walter payton that's how you drive that's how you get it done that's how you execute pretty much i mean the biggest thing was me wasting that timeout on a third down i don't think i wasted it i think it was worth it to call that timeout to get my right defense on the field to get off the field and get the ball back execute i don't know what to tell you guys about vic fumbling uh I'm sorry, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly, in my life, I have fumbled with the quarterback in so many big games, but at the same time, I, I make so many plays that other people don't because they're afraid to do that, rightfully so. I mean, it is the ultimate double-edged sword. Um, so if you're trying this offense, you're trying to play with the mobile quarterback, you're trying to get up out of there, just know what's going to happen you kind of have to accept it and not be mad at it what i get mad at is when my other players fumble you know like like you're on conservative my running back my wide receivers hold on to the ball if you like this video please hit the like button i'll come back soon with another video just like it